Most of you have seen or heard of Sony's GT-Z1, which is an ultra short throw 4K resolution laser projector. What you may not know is that Sony's actually been developing a new ultra short throw projector, and they've given us one to play with. This is the VPL VZ 1000 ES. Now, a few things right off the bat. Like the GTZ1, this projector has a laser light source, and that means you've got 20,000 hours of use, which is basically forever. What's different than the GTZ1, though, is that this is 30% smaller and it's 25% brighter. This guy is a monster. I have foot candles like crazy of light in my room. I've got lamps, I've got ceiling lights, I've got windows, and I have no problem getting a crisp, clear, contrasty image on our Zero Edge ST screen. This screen is an optical technology, and to show you how it works, this is an image of a sample of our ST screen material. When facing one direction, the screen turns black, but when facing the other direction, the screen turns white. The white side faces the projector and the black side faces upwards and out into the room. This means that the screen actually preserves the contrast from the projector rather than throwing it away by being washed out by ambient light in the room. Now this projector is also sporting a new design as well, having vertical slats compared to the horizontal slats on the GTZ1. Now I actually prefer the vertical slats on this projector because it gives it a little bit more of a slimline feel and look, but it also doesn't collect as much dust and debris. On both sides, this projector is finished out with fascia plates that are piano black gloss, which is actually a really nice classy design. And this thing's gotta look good. I mean, it's gonna be front and center in your room. Removing one of the fascia reveals the IO connections, which includes two HDMI. And there are another two on the back side, bringing it up to four in total. It has a USB, 12 volt trigger, IRN, remote input, LAN, and power, all of which are fed out the back, making it simple to organize and bundle all of your cabling in one location. Sony has also added a cover plate that you can slide over the lens of the unit when you're not using it, which helps mitigate any buildup of dust or debris or destructive children from getting in contact with the lens. Now, I hesitate to even say this because this projector is so good, but I just I have to nitpick at this one small thing. A manual cover plate? On a projector of this level, I would expect to see something automatic. Now that that's out of the way, I went out and I picked up a PlayStation 4 Pro because this projector has HDR in all four of its HDMI inputs, and that's via 18 gigabits per second. So what that means is you'll be able to play any game console or input any 4K signal and this projector will be able to handle it. Sony recommended that I also pick up the new Ghostbusters movie in HDR as well because it's got great demo content to show off the capabilities of HDR. Now if you compare the two, you will instantaneously see the incredible difference in dynamic range that the HDR version has. Now the 1080p version is still really, really good, but it is nothing compared to the HDR version. 
Now, when you take this over to gaming, like on the PS4 Pro, gaming in HDR is just the coolest thing in the world. And I will say again, finally, it is definitely not a gimmick. If you can do HDR, do it. Now, one thing that really surprised me about this projector was how simple it was to set up. I'm not new to ultra short throw projectors by any stretch of the imagination. I've set up the GTZ-1, I've set up several other smaller ones. This one by far is the most simple that I have ever set up. Part of that is thanks to the feet, which are now adjustable without the use of any tools. But what's really, really important about this is that it has lens shift and lens zoom. 6% plus or minus in the vertical, but 3% plus or minus horizontal. That's really handy in an ultra short throw projector. Now let's talk about price. Now the GTZ one came in at a whopping $50,000, which was out of the ballpark for many of you. This projector is smaller, it's lighter, and it's brighter, and it costs less than half of the GTZ one, coming in at under $25,000. Now, when you combine this with our ST screen, you're getting an amazing 100 inch, 110 inch, 120 inch image. There's no glare on this, and it's much more affordable per square inch than a flat screen TV. Keep your eyes open for the VPL VZ 1000 ES. It's gonna be available in April. The future of short throw is bright, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm thrilled to be going along for the ride.